In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a system I.O. blog website. By default, when you log in, you're going to be on the dashboard. So you just have to click on blogs. So to start, click on create and you just have to name it affiliate marketing. So I want to create a website about affiliate marketing so this is just an example you can name it whatever you want and this is for your record okay? so this is not what going to show in public so when you have a lot of websites and you want to work on it or edit or put something you know which one to click and by default system io will have a domain here for you is it good to use this domain name it's better to connect your professional domain name for your business but if you don't have it yet use the default one that system io has for you now, if you don't know how to connect your domain name, I have a tutorial how to connect and verify your domain name in System.io. So I use Namecheap. You can use GoDaddy, whatever, but the process is still the same, okay? Make sure when you connect it, you will verify it, okay? If not, it will not work. So this is my personal domain name I have connected to System.io. So if I want to use this one, I will just click it, and you see it has changed here too, all right? But this is just a tutorial, so I'll just use uh, the default system I own domain name because I'm not going to use this, okay? So I'll just choose it. All right, so as you can tell, it has changed already. Now I have to choose URL path. Even though I named this affiliate marketing, I can name this make money, let's say, online, okay? Or if I want, I can still name it affiliate marketing okay now one thing you have to know is when you are choosing your url path please make sure it's one word you can put space between it has to be connected or dash between or underscore underscore is no good if the website you're about to create you want it to be the home page for your blog you don't have to put anything here then just take this off just take it off okay then after when you choose your templates, which I'll get to it in a second, then you click save. All right. So just for you to know. All right. So now we have to choose the templates. And this is very, very important because if you don't like the templates you choose, later on, you have to come back and redo the whole thing. So I'll show you what they have. I'll show you all the templates here. So preview. I'm going to right click, open, right click, open. So this one is like this, okay. Uh, it looks nice, but I'm not sure if I like this one. So if you like it, you can go for that. Close it. This is the next one. Uh, this, I don't like it. Okay, so this one. Yeah, this one is all right. It's all right, okay. Let's see this one. Uh, there's too much going on here. But it's not bad, but this is not my style. I'll close it but it's up to you if you like it go for it okay this one too is okay but i want something simple but you can choose it if you want it all right so so far these two stand out okay this one is simple and this one too it's nice but the categories mm, it's up to you i like both like but this one look more simple okay so i'll close this so that means I'll go for this one. So to do that, I'll just, this is it, okay? Is this, sorry. So is this one, okay? So what I'll do, I'll click on select template. When it's selected, okay, let me close this first. When it's selected, then click on save. Error, okay? There's an error somewhere. All right, let me close this one too. And I'll log in again, and I'll see if it's going to work. Who knows, maybe they've logged me out. So I'll log in again, let's see. Create, then I'll say affiliate marketing. So I'm going to select this and click save. All right, so it's creating. So meaning system IO logs you out when you've logged in for so long and you are not making use of the system because uh, for some reason I have to go away a bit and come back again. So they log me out. So that uh, that is the reason why I was running through errors whenever you face challenges like this just log out and log in again this is the name and for seo purposes i added 
affiliate marketing now i can change this just to show you okay so i'll change it quick uh go here and setting i can change this to make make money online which is the url path all right so i will save it and i'll show you see the blog has been successfully modified so as you can tell make money online the blog page name is still there this is for your record all right so i'm gonna click on it and we're gonna edit it so let's log in so this is the back office and now we're gonna start working on it the blog layout so let's click on it so this will be your logo click on it go here and you have to select a logo i've downloaded one of my logos and i'll drop it in insect you can tell the size is really huge so what you're gonna do just reduce it here so let me do this 70 uh 70 should be all right so then again if you want it you can align it on the left center or right okay but normally center and left the best but with this i'll go with center i just want to show you how to change so you can double click and change the right in here you can add whatever you want or type whatever you want okay subscribe now to get daily updates all right so let's say if i click here i can type update and see and sorry and gifts okay yeah i can choose to add something like this okay so and i'll click off it and i'll go like this we're gonna work on this later on okay but this is just yeah so here too under the logo this is where the about session will be okay so you're gonna double click and type something about the about section so let's go to exit yes we want to save okay then view blog okay so now this is how it's gonna look like see blogstorm and i have the logo here as well but i didn't change any of this so but later on we'll work on that all right so go back then block settings this is the block settings and there's nothing really here then the language okay so you can choose your language okay in this case it's english so we'll keep it as is and you have to click save before you exit by default it will not let you go okay so post layout okay so this is how the layout looks like all right this is how it looks like and most of the time you don't have to do much here okay if you don't like the size of this for the images you'll be posting on your blog you click it and you can work it out here okay all right so you can have over it click on settings and see there's nothing really here because this is all set up for you okay so you don't have to mess it up so let's exit okay now so these are your posts okay whenever you post something it's gonna drop here so let's say for instance okay i want to show you all the settings before i show you how to post a blog all right so let's go to pages all right so these are the pages Let's say I want to edit this. I will click here, hover, and click edit. Now you're going to come in here and do all your typing. Okay, when you're done, you're just going to save. Then you move on. Okay, so let's exit. So that is about that. So category. So category one. Let's say I want to add another category. Okay, so click on here. And I will name it uh, affiliate marketing okay then you give a description as you can tell it added dash between the path okay then i will say description affiliate marketing tips for beginners okay i'll keep it like this and seo title copy this and drop it here seo description uh i'll copy this and i'll say okay let me paste it first and i'll change this and i'll say beginners okay so save okay so as you can tell i've created a category here all right so let's go to blog layout one more time all right so i like to change the name articles to blog okay so i'll hover over this go slowly and click on the setting button all right 
Then this is home, which is this one. Articles is this. So I'm going to change it to blog. Okay. And as you can tell, it has blog link, which is by default. Okay. Then I will save it. You see, the third one is contact. And the fourth one is about. So, so about, you can say about me. Okay. Which is the old school way. But just for you to know that it has changed. See, so everything has changed here. Then I will click save. Okay. Then when you go and you block view, view block. See, we're going to go back. All right. So now we need the affiliate marketing category we added. So go back. Okay. And block layout. Now down here. So down. And I'll say affiliate marketing highlight okay then you click on link then see this link to blog post or a blog page click on it then you have to locate it and it's the affiliate marketing category okay then you click save all right so that's how you add a category down there okay so now it's gonna be when i go live let's see so save okay please don't forget to save everything okay then go here and view. Okay. When you come down, now we have it here. So there's a link now. If I click on it, it brings me down to the affiliate marketing category. Okay. And you have your dates and everything, the description. This is what Google will read. Okay. So you make it nice. All right. All right. So I'm going to create a post. So click on here. So I will name it uh, money online description how to make money online okay then as you can tell because this is the title it is gonna pick it up for the so for url path it's gonna select the title by default okay and image and so i'll choose this as an example so upload then i'll the category i want to select affiliate marketing then save. All right. So as you can tell, it's here. So I'm going to go in to edit. And status is inactive. So I'll click here. Then later when I'm done, then I'll come and save it. Then I'll publish it. Okay. So as you can tell, because I didn't, this is not a perfect uh, image for this size. Because you need a specific size. But I don't have it. So I'm just using this as an example. I need a test. See, this is the headline. Okay. This is the category, play marketing. So I'll drop a test here. Okay. Drop it. Then, oh, sorry. Actually, I want a test, not headline. So drop it. Okay. Then let's say this is whatever you want to type. And you want another headline, which is sub headline. So I'm going to drop it underneath. Oh, that's too far. I'm going to put right underneath. Okay. Then I'm going to click on it and select H2. Okay, that's it. Then I'll click a test and I'll drop it right underneath. Okay, then I'll select another headline, put it right underneath. And this time around, let's say I want H3. Then I'll select another test again, put it right underneath. Oh, this one, there's too much gap. Undo, put it right there. Okay, so this time around, I want to add an image. So I'll go down here. To find image okay add image sorry no so it's too close so i'll click on it and just uh click here and reduce sorry margin let it come down okay so like that then i can click on it and select the image that i want so let's say i'll use a uh, paypal okay all right and if it's too big i can reduce it to so let's say 500 you can type it or you can just select it okay that's how you create a blog then click save let's check it out all right so to publish it click on this activate okay so confirm activation you are going to activate this blog post so click continue okay it should say confirm so when you click confirm it's live so view See, this is the blog post. This is how you create 
your blog website all right so now if i don't want to publish it okay so i'm gonna click here deactivate confirm now it's no more live for some reason you wanna add you made a mistake and you wanna edit it you just have to deactivate and work on it okay, so it will not show up on whatever then you're gonna click edit then edit whatever you want when you are done save it go here okay then come back again and activate it okay then when you click activate then confirm then it's gonna go live but i don't want to do that okay so this is the end of the tutorial thanks for your time please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel